Are you bored of your current background? Well, I can show you how to change it easily in the new version of Photoshop using the generative fill feature. Now, the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and get yourself a photo and we're just going to unlock this to be a layer. From here, you want to click on select subject and what we're going to do is press control or command shift and I. And this will invert the selection. From here, we can click on the generative fill button and we can just type in on a beach in Spain. Go ahead and click on generate. And what this will do is it will use AI to replace the background. And as you can see, it's actually done a really good job on making this look really good. This actually does look like somewhere in Spain that you would go, especially a seaside. We can also look through the different variations and see which one we are happy with. And personally, I would say the first one is the most accurate one, especially with the hair and the other things as well. And if you want to, you can also edit the prompt just by clicking onto here, or you can go back into the properties and you can also have the different variations as well. But let's say that we wanted to also change this to, I don't know, let's say Paris. We could just type in Paris in here. And as you can see, this is actually not too bad. And this one's actually really interesting. Wow, that actually does look like it could match. It looks very realistic, especially the lighting and everything else. You can even mix and match the backgrounds if you want to, just by simply pressing Control or Command and J to get yourself a copy of it. And for this one, let's say we wanted to select this one right here. And for the second one, we wanted this third one right here. What we can do from here is we can select ourselves the mask we can click on subtract mask using the brush tool. We can easily subtract this from here and mix and match these two together. You can even add to the mask and this will add it onto here or you can just completely disable that one and only stick with the second one. But anyway, that has been my video on how to change a background using the new generative fill feature. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this video. And as always, I will see you all in our next video. Bye.